One time I listened to a guy talk about the different kind kinds of faith. He spoke about when your faith is full and when your faith is wavering. All in all, faith is faith. Good morning Zion and family. My name is Liz Kanye and I'm here with yet another faith story. But before I get into it, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing with your friends. Enyewe nyinyi ni watu. Keep doing that. And once again, if you have a faith story that you know will bless people, share it with us and we will be sure to tell it. So, before I get into my story, let me read this portion of scripture. I'm going to read from Philippians chapter 4, verse 19 and 20. I am convinced that my God will fully satisfy every need you have. For I have seen the abundant riches of glory revealed to me through the anointed one, Jesus Christ. And God our Father will receive all the glory and the honor throughout the eternity of eternities. Amen. So when I was first told this story, I laughed. I laughed because these were friends of mine, their siblings, and they were sharing. This one was saying the way the the younger sister she i don't know how i don't know what it's called in english but in swahili anapenda kuskel you know she uses very little because she doesn't want it to get finished so this small sister <laughs> one time her lotion her vaseline they were all getting depleted at the same time and now she's gotten to the place where she is um scraping the tin to be able to get anything to use so she began praying at that point she was a member of the prison worship team in her church so she was praying oh god where will i get this product father please provide for me she's praying like this but she doesn't have faith that god will provide but she's praying anyway so it so happened on sundays after church they would go to the supermarket someone would buy for them bread and milk and then they would come back make tea and then they they practice a bit and then see they've had something because their church would run till a bit late then they eat and then they practice and then they go home so this particular lady this time said she wanted to go out with she wanted to go to the supermarket with this small girl whose things are finished so she says she does not know how this lady discovered that her things had run out so she tells her they go to the supermarket and they're picking stuff they're picking stuff so the mama was also doing shopping for her home so she buys big things and this girl is very surprised that people actually buy this huge huge things and then the mama asks her what mafuta do you use and she says she tells her pick that one so she picks this girl as she's speaking she doesn't even know that these things are hers so this lady decides to buy for her um petroleum jelly lotion and soap so by the time she they were leaving the supermarket she gives her, it was those days of paper bags she tells the attendant pack this one's candle so see they have packed the church things um this mama's shopping and then her small package she got her package she could not believe that afternoon she did not even sing properly because she could not believe that she had a big tin of petroleum jelly she was so excited now you'd think that because someone has gotten this big um lotion this big petroleum jelly she will use it vizuri uh uh <laughs> this girl she's still using just kidogo very little So her sister comes back and she's told you cannot use this one. When she borrows she's given just a little because this girl was thinking if this one gets finished where am I getting the other? And guess what? It was God who provided this one and God was capable of providing again. Anywho, eventually the things ran out and eventually this girl she has improved somehow. She trusts God. Well, God brought her out of that situation where she could not afford to buy, but um she still uses very little because she got used. But now at least she knows 
that she can um, God can provide for her. Now, God received glory from this mama, this mama who bought for her these things. Because like we read, when um, God supplies your needs, he also gets glory. So this lady, when she bought for this young girl these items, she was glorifying God. And God does that every time. He wants to provide for us. And he brings people because he wants to receive glory. He will always bring someone to come and provide for you. So I don't know what it is you're asking for. It could be something as little as petroleum jelly or something way, way bigger than that. Like a house, for example. God is able to do it. If you have faith, if you just believe in him, sometimes you don't even need full faith. I mean, this girl did not have faith. She was praying. I guess because she's been told you need to pray. So her faith was very little. The Bible says that with faith as little as a mustard seed, you can ask the mountain to move and it will be moved. So that little faith that you have, it is enough to cause God to provide, or cannot to cause God, for you to pray and ask the Lord to give you that which you, you are requiring of him. Whatever it is, whether big or small, God is able to do it. So I would like you to join your faith with mine and let's pray together for those things that we are trusting God for. I'm sure you have things that you're trusting God for. I have things that I'm trusting him for. So let's join our faith together and let's pray. Father, we want to thank you so much because of your promise in Philippians 4.19. You have promised that you will meet all our needs according to your riches in glory. So this morning, oh God, we want to present the requirements that we have, oh God, the needs that we have, even the wants that we have, oh Lord. We pray, oh God, would you meet them according to your riches in glory. Father, provide for us. Provide for us like only you can, oh God of glory. We choose to put our trust in you. We choose to put our hope in you because you're a faithful God. Thank you for this girl and for what you did for her. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because even today, you're still in the business of sorting out people. And thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for every destiny helper that you have planted along our path, O oh God. We pray, O oh Lord, that we will not miss out on them, O oh God of glory, but Heavenly Father, we shall receive that which you want us to receive at this hour. We love you, Lord, and we honor you through Christ our Lord. Amen.